Hi, I'm Arlen Walker and I am live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I have got another community chat for you guys. If you do not remember, community chats are essentially um, videos that I do that are sort of talking about what's kind of going on in the, the live from Pelham's Wasteland sphere, if that makes sense. And I try to do them about once a month, uh, sometimes a little more often, sometimes a little less, kind of depending on how quickly things are uh, changing and all of that. Um, but basically the idea is to um, kind of tell you guys what's sort of going on in my plans. And the last one was basically right at the end of January. And um, so I'm doing one that was sort of covering February stuff. So this will cover kind of March and maybe even maybe the first half of April, depending on kind of what I specifically kind of get into. Um, but um, anyway, there's a sort of a number of things to talk about. Uh, the big one is that I am... Um, particularly for, for my, my kind of situation has been really good, doing really well. And that means that I am, uh, I expect going to be able to kind of keep up with the, uh, schedule that I have set myself for the month of March. Um, so if you remember the idea was for February to do, um, somewhere on the order of three videos a week. Um, basically a video on Monday, a video on Wednesday and a video on Friday every week was the idea. We didn't quite maintain that. Um, there were a couple of, uh, basically missed slots essentially, um, just based on my, um, you know, not, not being, uh, well enough planned, not being well enough prepared, all of that sort of stuff. But I think that's okay. I think it's, you know, I, I'm trying to embrace the idea of um, aspirational goals as opposed to kind of um, uh, penal goals, if that makes sense. That, that you know, the idea is that, you know, my, my schedule is what I want to hit, but it's not necessarily a problem if I don't kind of completely hit every little bit in the same way as opposed to it being you know I have to you know punish myself for not um, sticking to exactly what I said I was going to do because part of that is a, you know this is a passion project right I'm not um, my, my channel is small enough that I um, don't make any money off of uh, Life from Pelham's Wasteland in any form. So it's one of those things that I'm doing it because I love these games and I want to share them with you, not because it's, you know, a job or anything like that. I have a, I have a real job. And if I don't get that stuff done on time, I will be in trouble. But for this, it's, uh, you know, I want it to be, to be fun. And I do want to take it, um, seriously and, you know, approach it in a sort of, um, professional way, but I don't necessarily want to get into a sort of, um, kind of corporate style, uh, YouTube channel element where it's, it's, you know, uh, uh, I don't entirely know. I, I think you guys get what I'm trying to say, um, even if I'm not doing a very good job of saying it. But anyway, for March, we have a couple of really exciting things. So the big one is this March Character Creation Madness 2 project that I have been working on a lot behind the scenes and is uh, now coming to you guys. Obviously, by the time you guys see this video, you will have... Uh, had access to the first two videos in that series, um, which means there will be 29 more because the idea is one character creation video for every day for the month of March. And March, of course, has 31 days. Um, and then I think I might, I'm kind of tinkering with the idea of doing a sort of recap video at the end. Um, I haven't published any sort of like my um, schedule for March Character Creation Madness or anything like that. And part of that is because it is uh, still fairly flexible. I'm, I'm kind of tinkering with the schedule, even at this kind of late hour in some ways. Um, so I haven't um, published kind of the, the plan yet because the plan might change. Um, but I would like to kind of in the aftermath, go back and do sort of a video to kind of talk about like all of the different games that were covered in March Character Creation Madness 2 and sort of be like a, 
almost like an index for the series, if that makes sense. Um, because I think that would be a, a, a fun thing to do. Um, and a, a good kind of uh, end cap for the series. So that may be, you know, the sort of thing that comes out, you know, early April um, as a kind of end cap to the the whole March Character Creation Madness 2 project. And I would really like... Um, Obviously, impossible to know precisely what the future holds, but I would like, um, assuming that Live from Pelham's Wasteland as a YouTube channel um, stretches on into the future, I think it would be really cool to do uh, March Character Creation Madness basically every year and have that be kind of a regular feature on the channel. Um, but obviously, it will that will sort of you know, depend on all of these different circumstances. And it doesn't make any sense to start planning for, you know, a series in 2023 or 2024 based on um, what's happening right now necessarily. But um, I'm sort of, I guess the, the way to put that is I'm sort of building the material in a way that is designed to be um, expansible to include that sort of thing. So in particular, I've got a, a spreadsheet, which is my schedule spreadsheet. And the idea is that um, I don't want to cover the same game twice, at least at present. Maybe eventually it will make sense to go back and do some of the same games. Um, and but that uh, I am willing to cover kind of different editions of the same game, but not like the same specific uh, rules. Basically, um, the the plan is to not do that. So um, this round, the the March Character Creation Madness twenty twenty two, we have a uh, handful. I think only one or two uh, games that are. Um, new editions of older games that were covered in the previous year's March Character Creation Madness. So there are, there are only a couple of those, but I think that's a, and I think that's kind of a fun thing to, to talk about kind of how the game has changed over the course of, you know, growing and adapting and evolving over the course of editions, that that's a, a fun thing to do. So anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to those episodes too, um, but we're not, um, the plan is, at least right now, not to cover, you know, the exact same game, you know, the first edition or the second edition of a specific game twice at all. So, for instance, last year we had games like, for instance, the Mythic Edition of Barbarians of Lemuria. So I the plan is not to cover um, Barbarians of Lemuria Mythic Edition again, unless maybe I do like a, a Greatest Hits version or something later, because that's a, a game that I really enjoy and it would be fun to talk about it more, but it's not necessarily something that I need to, um, to do for this particular, uh, series or project again. Um, although if a new edition comes out, then it would be on the table if, uh, Simon Washburn ends up writing a, uh, a further, edition of Barbarians of Lemuria, because there are, I think, three editions now, because there's original and legendary and mythic. Um, and mythic is the most recent one, and it has, uh, I think part of it is that it was um, set up with a, a Kickstarter so that they could get all new art and stuff for it. But anyway, the, I'm getting off track. The, the point being, you guys get the idea. It's going to be a whole bunch of 31 new videos on new things, um, some of which has been kind of covered previously on the channel in a different form, some of which is totally new to the channel. Um, and then obviously anybody who is interested in any of those games, um, leave a comment, leave a like, all that sort of stuff to let me know that those are, you know, particular games that you are really interested in. And um, potentially we will end up seeing more of those particular games based on interest. Um, Anyway, so that is uh, a whole fun thing. Um, March Character Creation Madness. I'm not quite as far ahead of schedule as I had sort of hoped to be at one point. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not behind schedule at all the way I was a couple of times last year. Last year, I had a couple of kind of crunch time moments where I would, you know, basically like I need to record a video in the next hour so that I can upload it in the hour after that so that it will be 
able to go live at the kind of scheduled time slot type thing. Um, and I'm definitely not in that position right now. So that feels good. Um, and I, I think I will be just fine in terms of keeping up with the schedule. I'm just kind of not quite as far ahead as I had hoped to be at one point. So anyway, um, but all of that is to say that I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I think that is going to go very well. And the plan is to continue to do the kind of Monday, Wednesday, Friday release schedule of the sort of um, other stuff in addition to the March Character Creation Madness videos. So we're talking about somewhere on the order of 10 videos a week for the month of March, you know, seven videos, one for each day, um, plus an additional three videos for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, so that's uh, a, a sort of significant ramp up of production here in uh, Pelham's Wasteland Studios. But, you know, that's uh, not a bad thing by any means. Um, and those will be the kind of um, series that I have been working on um, leading up to now. So um, Fridays, the plan is to do the Merrick of the Multiverse solo play with Fate series, which is going really well. I have not uh, not yet recorded episode one, but I've done um, about 90% of the prep that I need to to um, do that. And I've done some kind of other prep also to kind of um, build up some of the other stuff. And I think that's going really well and that's going to be a lot of fun. And I am planning right now to do a little bit of kind of behind the scenes content for that series, um, which won't be out for a while, but the idea is to do um, kind of like this, uh, but sort of short clips, you know, five to 10 minutes um, about the sort of prep that went into each episode and then string a couple of episodes worth of those clips together and then um, have that released as a sort of extra video in its own playlist um, because obviously there will be sort of spoilers for the, the kind of main story, um, but that, that way everybody can kind of, you know, get a sense of sort of the, the behind the scenes element because I think that would be fun. Um, and then I've got a couple of other sort of larger projects that I am tinkering with a little bit. I mentioned in the, the live stream that I did on Sunday that I am uh, trying to learn a little bit of uh, video editing stuff. I, I have a, a free program called OpenShot Video Editor and I've uh, read some stuff and watched some tutorials and I am, you know, basically learning a little bit of that sort of thing. And so I think that'll be good. Um, and uh, in particular, that is feeding into both this kind of behind the scenes stuff and also uh, another um, project or two that I am kind of thinking about and working on. And I think both of the, I think all of that is going to be good. And I think um, it's going to be nice for me to, to know a little bit more about the kind of uh, process and workflow of uh, video editing, because I think that's a, you know, it's not a, not a skill that I really have at present, but is a skill that I think would be uh, fun to have and, and, and would, you know, potentially be something, you know, useful going forward, especially depending on how um, long Live from Pelham's Wasteland goes as a YouTube channel and all that sort of stuff. Um, not a bad thing to know how to edit videos. And I already know, you know, a fair bit about the kind of general concept of editing just from, you know, editing so much text during my academic career. But um, anyway, that's uh, a whole thing. But the idea is Fridays will be Merrick of the Multiverse solo play, and then Mondays and Wednesdays, so this will be Wednesday's video, um, but going forward, Mondays and Wednesdays in March will be kind of other things that fit within the kind of uh, recent series, um, so I've got a couple of uh, planned episodes for different things, so interviews and the RPG Ideas and Design series and the RPG Recommendation series and the Overview series and all of that sort of stuff, and then potentially the other kind of, you know, more uh, one-off-y content, I guess you might say, um, will fit into those slots and all that, so 
basically the idea, a bunch of kind of stuff for you guys to, to watch or listen to or ignore if it's not your thing. And that's fine too. I'm, you know, it's, it's totally fine to, I am one of those people that definitely, you know, uh, engages with only a, a small portion of, um, the content from all of the channels I am subscribed to on YouTube. Um, so I, I no hard feelings if anything is not to someone's taste and they're not necessarily interested in in watching or listening to something. Um, but anyway, that's kind of the big plan for March is uh, 10 videos a week for a while. Um, March Character Creation Madness 2, as well as the kind of regular release schedule. And then um, there's a little, a couple of other things. Um, so I did a, uh, a live stream hangout kind of thing um, last Sunday on the, what was that, the 27th of February. Um, and that's, you know, back in the catalog. And there's a, a playlist for live hangouts that doesn't quite have all of them, but I'm going to try to be more diligent about making sure that all of the kind of live live stream hangouts going forward get added to that playlist so that anybody can, you know, go back and catch up. Um, and then the idea is that um, I, I would like to do something like that basically kind of once a month, um, probably as a kind of last Sunday of the month sort of thing, just to sort of hang out and, you know, chat with uh, members of the community and kind of talk about uh, what uh, happened in the last month and what's going on going forward a little bit, kind of like this video and just sort of hang out and, you know, do some kind of Q and a stuff. And in the case of that video, we did a sort of semi impromptu unboxing that was pretty cool and is sort of related to some of the other content that is likely to show up on the channel pretty soon, which is to say that I finally got my um, One Ring second edition stuff from the Kickstarter and it is uh, gorgeous and I am going to do some more stuff kind of showing it all off, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, anyway, so, um, and then there's, um, I will just go ahead and mention for anybody who does not know, I have a, uh, a podcast that is hosted on a service called Anchor. Anchor.fm slash Pelham's Wasteland is the kind of um, main homepage, but then it's also one of the things that Anchor does is it will distribute it to a bunch of other podcasting services. So it goes on to you know Spotify and Google Play and Podcatcher and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and I do kind of additional content there. Um, some of the stuff that I put on there is uh, basically kind of the same or similar to what is on the YouTube channel. And I have those episodes labeled from YouTube. Um, but a lot of it is uh, different and it's a little more kind of rambly. Obviously, a lot of my stuff is pretty rambly, but it's a little more kind of rambly and uh, personal, I guess. So if, if that interests you at all, you can uh, check that out. And one of the cool things about Anchor is that you can actually send uh, voice messages, audio messages in through the uh, podcast. And basically I can uh, play those in the, in the episodes, in my episodes of the podcast and respond to them and all that. So it's a great um, tool for kind of a, a sort of a community oriented podcast in some ways. So Anyway, that's kind of the most of the big thing. I think that's just about everything big thing that's going on. There's a couple of sort of um, irons in the fire, as it were. I've got kind of a number of different um, ideas. I have a whole bunch of uh, basically Google Docs documents where I just kind of jot down notes and ideas and things I don't want to forget. And so I've got a number of different kind of uh, series ideas or one-off ideas or things I want to get back to, but I'm sort of working on kind of planning and all that sort of stuff. In particular, I would really like to do some more of that. Um, I did a series for a time that has been kind of on hiatus for a little while called Seeking the Riddle of Steel, um, where I talked specifically about the, the game The Riddle of Steel um, by Driftwood Publishing that I um, have a, a great fondness for. Um, and um, basically, I, uh, I 
kind of went through sections of the book. But then the idea was always to move beyond just the kind of original Riddle of Steel and talk about a number of kind of other games that have some level of kind of inspiration from the Riddle of Steel itself. Um, so things like Blade of the Iron Throne and Song of Swords and Sword and Scoundrel, all of which are uh, games that I have played and enjoyed a lot. Um, but also, you know, Jake Norwood actually wrote the uh, foreword for the edition of Burning Wheel that I have, the, the gold edition revised, I think is the one. And it's, uh, he wrote the foreword and basically talked about kind of how Burning Wheel sort of gets at a kind of a different direction towards a similar goal as what the Riddle of Steel did. And then there's also, obviously, I've been talking with um, John Chandler of Codex Martialis, and that's another kind of um, uh, system that is built around this idea of kind of more uh, realistic or more um, historically accurate um combat among other things and so it would be fun to cover some more kind of codex martialis stuff in relation to that and and then there's some even even some other things that i've been thinking about and in that kind of zone if that makes sense so anyway basically what i'm saying is i would really like to get back to that series in particular um so i'm gonna work on that and then i've got um basically what says i i don't um one of excuse me, one of the sort of limitations based on channel size that YouTube imposes is that in addition to not being able to uh, basically get paid anything for the channel because I can't uh, run ads or anything on the channel. I don't know if you guys see ads when you watch my videos, but if you do, they're not going to me at all. All of that is going to YouTube, I assume, as a sort of, you know, cost of hosting type thing. Um, but basically you can't turn on monetization until you get to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours in the last year. Um, both of which we will presumably eventually get to, but obviously are not there yet. Um, so anyway, all of that is to say that, um, another limitation is that I uh, do not have access to a community tab on the channel, which is where I would presumably post kind of scheduling stuff for the channel, um, uh, which is uh, not a, a huge issue by any means, but um, it means that there isn't a, a great way for me to kind of um, tell all of you guys about what's coming up over the course of a... Um, a week or anything like that. So um, we'll see. Eventually I may figure out a different solution or depending on growth, we may end up uh, kind of within striking distance of a thousand subs and get that community tab and be able to post there and all of that sort of stuff. Who knows what the, the future holds. But anyway, all of that is to say that I um, have, have a whole bunch of things that I'm really excited about and really excited to share with you guys. Um, and I hope that you guys will uh, continue to join me on this uh, particular kind of phase of the journey, as it were, um, and that we will, you know, have lots of, you know, fun discussions and hangouts and all of the different kind of things that I've really enjoyed about doing this um, project, this, this Live from Pelham's Wasteland YouTube channel project. Um, that has been been really good for me in a whole lot of ways. And um, basically, I, I wanted to say, you know, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. And I really look forward to more, essentially. So I think that is basically everything that I wanted to cover. There might have been one or two other things that I had kind of in my head, but that I've now forgotten about, which is classic me. Um, but anyway, that's sort of the, the, the community chat for March, a little bit about kind of what's going on, what is coming, and uh, all of that sort of stuff. Oh, that was the last thing I wanted to say. Um, so uh, I have, there's a sort of complicated um, thing for content creators that I myself have experienced and I've talked to a number of my friends about that has to do with essentially um, the kind of visibility of older content in particular. 
um, and especially of material that as a creator, you may not be as kind of excited about or proud of, if that makes sense. Um, and this is, a, I think, a, a whole thing. You know, one of my buddies, um, Spike Pitt, he on his uh, podcast has basically gone through and he has removed a bunch of old episodes and then he is um, kind of reintroducing what he feels like are the good episodes from that era. Um, and he still has, he uh, apparently has downloaded all the audio for those episodes. So he still has the audio, but it's not accessible to anybody. Um, and that was a, a little bit of a controversy within our kind of circles in some ways. There are some people who feel like that's a little bit um, kind of manipulative of the the sort of image of the past as it were um so what i have done on this youtube channel specifically is that i have um unlisted a handful of videos i think there are um 12 videos total that are unlisted and i think i talked about this before um but basically on youtube an unlisted video is a video that can still be accessed by anybody but is not going to like show up in a search on youtube is not going to show up basically anywhere unless you have a specific link to it or it's in a specific playlist um so what i did was i just put all of the videos that i unlisted into a playlist and the playlist is called is called live from pelham's wasteland unlisted videos it's a public playlist there's 12 videos in it so you can go and watch all of the things that i have unlisted if you are for some reason interested in that particular material i i don't think it's very good material which is why i unlisted it it's it's basically all um, material that I am not quite as uh, proud of or excited about or isn't necessarily representative of my kind of current uh, plans and ideas and all of that sort of stuff. And um, so anyway, that's to say that's why um, a couple of videos and they had most of them had very few views. And so there's also an element of I don't think anybody is going to miss those videos. Um, and there are a couple of videos that are sort of still fully publicly accessible that I'm not necessarily quite as uh, proud of or excited about either. Um, but those I'm going to leave up partly because they seem to be more um, popular, more uh, uh, interest from the community in those, and that therefore I feel like I, I don't necessarily want to unlist those and kind of quell discussion on those particular subjects. Um, but anyway, basically that's to say that there are a couple of videos that you will not find just by going through the catalog normally um, but they are still totally accessible to anybody who wants to find those things um, i just sort of have kind of moved that from kind of main text to footnote if that makes sense uh to you know still accessible but not quite as kind of in your face or easy to get to if that makes sense so hopefully that's kind of an acceptable solution for everybody i feel like that's a good solution for kind of my goals and ideals that you know anybody who is interested can still find that content but it's not going to uh bring especially not going to bring new people to the channel who would therefore get a sort of um incorrect or uh, misaligned idea of what I am uh, all about here based on that. Um, in particular, there was a couple, um, the kind of uh, October horror book recommendation series that I had planned on for October and then did very little with, um, particularly um, just to kind of let you guys see uh, sort of behind the curtain a little bit. That was um, a, a period where I was having um, sort of the most serious uh, mental health issues that I have had in a while. There was sort of a, a long decline from kind of spring of 2021 down to um, October of 2021 and a, a bit of a minor crisis, I would say, um, a, a couple of days or well, more like a full week off of uh, work and um, a sort of a, a kind of shift and a, a shift in a couple of other things. I ended up um, 
changing my, I talked to my therapist and we changed my um, antidepressant prescription a little bit and some things like that. And that was also a big influence in me trying to kind of be more uh, deliberate about my physical and mental health and, um, you know, exercising more and taking vitamins because I, um, do not, you know, you can see I'm you know, super, super pale all over, especially like, you know, inside of the arm, just ridiculous. So I, you know, don't get enough vitamin D normally because I live my life inside my apartment in front of the computer instead of outdoors where I would be getting sunlight and all that sort of stuff. And, um, because partly because I burn so easily in the sun. Um, but anyway, the, the point being that, um, that's part of the reason that that I had a lot of kind of ideas for that series that um, totally fell through basically because of kind of uh, personal stuff. And um, as a result, that's kind of the most recent thing that has been um, delisted um, because it's just not really a, a, a series that kind of came to fruition, as it were. And it's not necessarily content that I am... Uh, super proud of, partly because of the uh, sort of state that I was in when I was uh, producing that content and recording and all that. So anyway, um, all of that is just to say that for those of you who are um, interested in my kind of physical and mental health state in general, I am doing much, much better than I was then. Um, I have actually been uh, losing a fair bit of weight as a result uh, of kind of exercising regularly and trying to eat um, regular meals instead of just eat when you're hungry and also kind of do some kind of uh, emphasis on eating at least a little bit healthier um, and all of that sort of stuff and, and kind of a number of, of things have contributed to that you know even stuff like you know one of the the great things for me about losing weight is that I have a pretty serious sleep apnea and it seems like losing some weight has helped um reduce the sleep apnea at least a little bit and so getting you know better sleep because I'm worn out from exercise and also not uh, waking up with sleep apnea in the middle of the night you know every two minutes or so which is what it was at its worst um, basically means that I am you know feeling on it's a you know wonderful kind of virtuous cycle element so I'm, I'm doing really well and I feel like it's worth sharing that with you guys because you guys have been um incredibly understanding of my uh issues and inabilities and all of that sort of stuff and you know a lot of you guys are uh friends and people I talk to regularly and all of that sort of stuff so I feel like it's uh you know not a bad thing to share especially you know it's in times like these um not a bad thing to share kind of even minor victories um and uh exult in a little bit of uh uh, success, as it were, right? That that's a, a, a good thing um, in the middle of, you know, pandemic times and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I have been totally rambling for the last little while, but I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this particular episode. I hope it has been um, informative in terms of what is coming, what's going on, what is going to um be, uh, you know, featured on the channel in the month of March and um, potentially a little bit of what is, I didn't really talk about April plans at all. So I guess I will probably do another community chat at kind of the end of March, beginning of April to talk about that. Um, but I, you know, March Character Creation Madden is kind of a, a big project for me. So that's why basically. But anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy and having lots of fun playing lots of games. And I um, hope you guys are uh, enjoying all of the different material that I am, you know, putting out on the channel because, uh, yeah, that's why I do it as much as anything is because it's, you know, fun for me and fun for you. And that's great. Um, anyway, I will. Oh, last thing. Um, and I'll go back to the face for this for a second, um, just because it's going to be a tiny bit longer than I like the splash screens to be. Um, I have added in the in YouTube, you can add an element for a sort of automatic um, 
description elements, if that makes sense, so that you can put, you know, stuff that goes in basically the description of every video into uh, an automatic thing that it will just, you know, add it by itself instead of having to type it out every time or copy it from a document or something like that. Um, and that includes a whole section that I have just described as contact me and it has um, my uh, Pelham's Wasteland at gmail.com email address, which is actually forwarded to my kind of main personal address, um, which is to say that I will see anything that you send there. I also have a Twitter account, Pelham Wasteland at Twitter, because with the S, it was too many characters. Um, and um, I don't check Twitter quite as much. I actually deleted the Twitter app off of my phone because I felt like that was good for me to prevent checking Twitter as much and wasting time on Twitter quite as much as I used to. Um, but I will see that definitely if you at me on Twitter. Um, and obviously you can comment in the comment section of any video on the channel and I will see that that you know, YouTube sends me an email when I get a comment basically and then also I am uh, checking my channel dashboard generally a couple of times every day while I'm working. I'll just, you know, reload the dashboard real quick to kind of check in. Um, it may take me a little while to get back to you because sometimes it does, especially if you have kind of a, a complicated question or something that I feel like warrants a, um, more thorough response and so I need to kind of think about it but basically rest assured that anybody who uh, comments on the channel or sends me an email or anything like that um, you will get a response at some point it just may not be within you know uh, a couple of minutes of submitting that comment um, which is just to say that um, I really do enjoy all of that, um, you know, all the comments and all the material that you guys provide in terms of the, the kind of, you know, stuff of Live from Pelham's Wasteland. So anyway, thank you so much for that also. And now we can get back to the outro, which is to say I still hope that everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and having lots of fun gaming, and hopefully having some fun, you know, hanging out on the YouTube channel too, on, on Live from Pelham's Wasteland, because that would be kind of cool too. Um, anyway, um, but I, like I said, contact me if you have comments, questions, concerns, anything like that. Um, and otherwise, I've been Arlen Walker, I've been Live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.